Hi there, I'm Bevan Lynch from RedCarpetNZ.TV here at the world premiere of Pork Pie at the Yellow Carpet. Look at that. Been in three words, what was it like to be part of this Kiwi classic Pork Pie? Three words. Yeah, yeah, three words. It's hard to use three words. It was such a great experience, yeah, you know. Yeah. I don't want to reduce it down to like three little words, but um, uh, uh, you know, it was it was an adventure. Uh, it was exciting, and uh, it was new. Yeah, because the last time uh, we saw you was at the rehearsal, and now you're here at Pork Pie. Yeah, yeah. So, what does it feel like to be on the yellow carpet? Oh, I'm just super proud and excited. A uh, little nerves, a few nerves kicking in, but. I'm super excited to share my uh, share the film that I was a part of with everyone else. So. so actually, I know it's difficult to distill this fantastic film into three words, but if you were just given three words, what would you describe this film to be? Um, okay, I'd say joyous, um, can heart-wrenching count as one, with a hyphen, I'd say that's one, which I love about the film because it's kind of, it does both to you. And the last word would be um, anarchic. So it's like that's where the New Zealand independent film industry started and I'm excited about being a part of a next generation version of the film. So it's not a frame by frame remake, we wanted to bring our own flavour and something for a new generation of fans who maybe hadn't seen the original. So it's bloody exciting to be here on the first up step of taking the bloody card and the card. So Matt. Pork pie, it's sort of a family business, really, if you think about it. Jeff, your dad, yeah, yeah, and now you, but you also worked on the original film in 1981. What was it like working 36 years later, or not, well, probably a bit sooner than that, but maybe 34 years later, working on the film and delivering it now, today? Um, oh, it, it felt like coming home, really. Yeah, no, it was fantastic. I mean, um, I started on that first movie and then I, worked on a lot of movies as crew um, but this is actually my first feature so it's pretty pretty nice little uh, round trip really for the Murphy family it is a family business um, so yeah the fact that the journey is going to end in Invercargill the whole purpose of this film is to get down to Invercargill and that makes it very special for us and films just lift the whole city they you know, we've been through some hard times and the movies change everything. It was absolutely fabulous. It had a bit of everything in it for me. Fantastic, fantastic. I was like nearly falling off my seat. Oh, absolutely amazing. I just loved it in every way. We were just laughing the whole way through. It was quite cool. You know, there's so many Kiwi jokes in there. Seriously, I think that is my favourite, best rom-com yet. It was a, such an epic adventure. Amazing, loved it. It really, uh, at that level, it made me feel incredibly proud of the industry, our storytelling, how good at all those things we are, and, and what, a, um, what an amazing family like filmmakers all belong to. So, I had a great time. I mean, it's another classic comedy, you know, and uh, you know, whenever Australia or New Zealand makes these sorts of comedies, we've got our own signature to them, you know, and, uh, and I think this one's just another great New Zealand classic for sure. This is the best Kiwi film I've seen in so long. It was just it had every single element. Plus I'm an action freak and those car chases and the stunt team were incredible, second to none. It's such an amazing screening and an awesome audience response and just such a great night. Uh, it, was, it was awesome. It was, I was just just full of just proud, like I was just proud the whole time from start to finish and I was just happy to share with, with everyone here and yeah I'm glad I'm glad that everyone enjoyed it. I feel really proud of everyone that worked on it. Yeah, I feel really happy. I, I, it's a lovely night. Yeah, lovely. Oh, from the get go I laughed. And and like it, it turned out to be something that like was incredible. Like it was such a random little story. And because I haven't seen the original like to see that it was incredible and oh I'm just so like I'm beyond proud of James. So how fast does Bev drive? Is that why you get her to drive sometimes? Is she reckless? Oh Bev can drive she drives at her own pace. <laughs> I said it, I'm
Oh, bless. Esto es la que está es bless.